Good morning, Sunflower Hill Yogis. Yoga Teacher Edie here. I hope that you are all doing really well and getting excited for the holidays and the new year. I thought it would be really nice to share a short practice today for our necks. I don't know about all of you, but I've been spending a lot of time looking down at my books or a phone and looking straight ahead at a computer screen and I'm finding that my neck is really tight on the sides and the back. So um, I put together just a short sequence that you can practice seated on the floor if you'd like to be seated on the floor. Or if you're already seated at a desk or on a chair, then you can be seated on a chair. If you are seated in a chair, come back away from the back of the chair just a little bit. Make sure that your feet are on the ground, that your ankles are under your knees, and that your knees are aligned with your hips, and that your shoulders are sitting up over your hips. If your feet don't quite touch the ground when you're sitting on your chair, you can always grab a blanket or blocks um, or books and put that under your feet to have your knees parallel, um, your knees in line with your hips. So we have some nice L shapes happening in the body. So wherever you're comfortable, take a moment and just move your spine side to side. Ooh, just notice that lateral motion. Super important to move our spine in all directions. It's that, it's this incredible joint that flexes and extends and rotates and moves side to side. So really important to use all of of the spine. But once you're comfortably seated with a nice tall spine and it feels like I'm pulling up on the top of your head to make the back of your neck nice and long, we're going to just let our hands come down to our legs or our lap, wherever they can rest comfortably. And either close your eyes or just soften your gaze for a moment. Seal your lips. Let your teeth float apart so that your jaw is relaxed. And find your breath. And we're just going to notice our breathing for a few moments. Inhaling into your abdomen. Feeling that expand. And then notice your ribs expand. And as you exhale, notice the ribs relax and the abdomen relax. Nice, easy inhale through the nose. Noticing how the breath moves in the body. And then a nice, easy exhale from the nose. Nice, easy inhale. Easy exhale. One more breath together, inhaling. And exhaling. softly. Let your hands come to your lap. We're going to find just very easy half moons with the neck, just seeing how the neck feels today. So gently bring your ear to your shoulder. Shoulders stay relaxed and down. The spine stays nice and tall, maybe a slight engagement in your core muscles, firm belly. And gently let the chin roll down to the chest and ah, that's right where I start to notice it. And then gently opposite ear to opposite shoulder. And as you do this, just notice how the neck feels. Do you notice the sides of the neck, the back of the neck? Gently and slowly moving the head side to side, ear to shoulder, chin to chest ear to shoulder. Taking your time. 
mindfully moving. The next time your chin comes down to your chest, I want you to think about a crayon or a really long pencil attached to the tip of your nose and then imagine that there's a little quarter right in front of your feet. And we're just going to imagine that we're tracing small circles around that quarter. You might hear a little snap, crackle, and pop in the neck. We're just getting into the uppermost vertebrae of the cervical spine, bringing some fresh synovial fluid, the jaw stays relaxed, and then pause and circle in the opposite direction. And then let the head be still, find the tall spine again, think about the heart lifting as the chin relaxes. And then the head comes back up, nice hands come down by the side, Let's inhale, sweep the arms up, let the eyes look up, and then gently exhale, find a nice twist. Good, so our shoulders are going one way. We're going to look over the back shoulder for a moment, keep the shoulders where they are, and then look over the front shoulder. Tuck your chin down into your collarbone. So it's like you're trying to make a double chin. Breathe and just notice where you feel. You might actually feel this pulling a bit more into your shoulder, along the neck. You can try opening and closing the mouth and see how or if that changes the sensation. You might even just gently, with that chin tucked in, tilt your head to the side. The breath is long and easy. And then bring the head back up into center and then inhale, sweep the arms back up. Eyes look up, exhale. Nice revolve to the opposite side. So on the inhale, find a little length. And then as you exhale, look over the back shoulder. And then look over the front shoulder. Shoulders stay where they are. The chin comes down to the collarbone. Ooh, just notice how that side feels. My right side is so much tighter than my left. And then the chin tucks in and maybe the head tucks back a little bit. You might try opening and closing the mouth. Just long, easy breath, noticing. And let the shoulders relax if they're trying to creep up like mine just did. On the inhale, lift the head, let the head come back to center, and then sweep the arms up. Good, this time bring one hand down to the ground, tiptoe walk that hand out to the side. The hand comes to the ground, the elbow is soft. Good, reach up. If you are seated in a chair, then bring your hand to the side of the chair. Good, find that nice side body stretch. Let your head relax and then reach your arm out to the side. And take a moment, point the thumb down, bring the hand behind you, just to explore. Notice what you feel. And then the hand with that thumb pointing down will slide behind your back. I like to rest my fingers right in my waistband and just check in with your tummy, make sure your abdomen is slightly engaged. And again, you might just tuck your chin slightly in and notice how the neck feels. Ah, feels good to let it go. Two more breaths here. Inhale, come back up. Maybe help the head come back up. Reach the arms up and then exhale, opposite hand to the side or to the side of your chair. Tip to the fingers over, elbow soften, shoulder softens, reach and lengthen. I like to think of myself like a little teapot. 
and then reach that arm out to the side, thumb points down and gently explore. And again, just notice what you sense. Do you sense the shoulder? Do you sense the neck? Maybe try tucking the chin into the collarbone slightly. Good. And then with that thumb pointing down, slide the hand behind the body into the waistband. And let yourself breathe. Imagine all of the tension draining out of the body. It feels so nice to let it go. One more breath together. Reach that arm back out and slide it down. Inhale, maybe fingers to the temple to just gently help the head come back up to center. Bring the hands to the legs, roll the shoulders down the back a few times and just notice how you feel hoping that your neck feels good. And then just gently look over one shoulder, really soft movement, look over the other shoulder, gentle side to side. And then with the shoulders square to the screen that you're looking at. So shoulders stay right where they are. We're just gonna let our head look over to the side and let your eyes look all the way around. <clears throat> so here we are simultaneously stretching and strengthening the neck muscles. Keep finding length in that spine, little core engagement. And then on the exhale, come through center, and then look over the other side. Just taking your time, again, mindfully noticing how you feel. Come back to center. So we're going to end with a little, um, a little Qigong that one of my favorite yoga teachers taught us. And there are two ways that you can do this. You can slightly and lightly tap the body. If you don't like tapping, you can just gently hold and apply pressure to your body. We're just kind of waking up the energy. So either way, what we're going to say to ourselves as we do that is happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. You got it? Okay, let's go. Happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. Nice tapping out the legs and the thighs and the calves or squeezing your choice. Happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. Amazing bodies that we have. And then let's tap out our hips and our bellies. Happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. Nice. And then let's make little fists or bring the hands to the low back and gently press on the low back. Happy body, healthy body, or little taps on the low back. Happy body, healthy body. Nice. Good. And then come back to the belly and then up to the chest. Tapping out the chest or maybe hands right on the heart. Happy body, healthy body. Happy body, healthy body. And then give yourself a pat on the back, releasing the deltoids and the rhomboids. Happy body, healthy body. And then the other side, or maybe it's a gentle squeeze. And happy body, healthy body. Nice. And then both hands tapping. Really good job. You did your yoga practice today. And then reach the arms out to the side. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Let the eyes look up. Let's exhale, bring the hands down to the heart. Closing the eyes or maybe softening the gaze. And take a moment to think about something that you are grateful for. Let that gratitude bring you joy. Bring a soft smile to your lips. And have a really great day. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me.